Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Polio Jr. And in today's video, uh, I'll be showing you an extremely easy way, regardless of uh, what device you're using, uh, on basically how to just increase um, the speed of your internet connection. And this doesn't necessarily have to do with bandwidth, although it can. Uh, all we're doing is we're using the website's called 1.1.1.1 and long story short this is a um, a secondary uh, DNS which means dynamic names server and long story short what that is is basically when you type in any website google.com then um, that actually goes to an IP address so the DNS is basically a directory. So you're looking into the directory and you're trying to get the quickest response. Now this came out recently, uh, I believe from Cloudflare, and their website is 1.1.1.1, you get it. And you can just go, simply go to install. And so, and you can see it covers every single uh, operating system and device. So whether it's iPhone, Android, Mac OS, Windows, Linux, and how to do it on your router. The best thing that you can do uh, is to do it on the router because uh, when you do change it on the router, uh, you don't have to change it on any other devices that are connected to the router. Now, the long story short here, because um, I know there, there's been other videos done about this, is when you do change your DNS server, you're not going through your um, your your internet service provider's uh, DNS server, and basically that's almost a filter. So you're going through uh, basically a shorter filter to access the internet. So when you do change this um, your DNS server and your secondary DNS server, the connection is um, is typically a lot quicker. Now bandwidth speeds are so uh, you know, are just so uh, horrendously uh, fast now that you know sometimes it feels like there's not even a difference. You're like, oh, I'm downloading at whatever 200 megabits a second. You know, what does it really matter? And you know, if you are doing a lot of things, it definitely does matter. And the biggest reason why I switched my DNS over to 1.1.1.1 is strictly for privacy reasons um, because if you use a lot of DNS's and this is including Google um, they can keep track of sites that you visited there's other DNS uh, servers that actually sell um, your information of sites that you visited so you're not as secure as you think now I'm still using Windows 7 so I'll, sh I'll just show you on Windows uh, on the Windows machine how you can do this just through that so if you can do it through the router it's actually extremely easy and they give you a step-by-step -step here they give it to you for everything and even though like you may not think like th their speed is they say 10 average 10.95 milliseconds uh, as far as you know loading up a, a web page this DNS server is better at um, loading new content so not anything that's cached that doesn't really matter but anything that's new that you're um, that you've never visited before never seen before at least in the web browser you will see uh, a pretty significant difference and it does just have to be browsing it can be playing games so forth and you can even see videos uh, loading up a little bit quicker than before so but the biggest thing with this is privacy and that's what we want to that's why we want to change this. Uh, so what we're going to do right now is I'm just going to walk you step by step through the Windows um, Windows Arena here on how to do that, which is extremely easy. This is Windows 7. Um, you can do the same for Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, and 10. As long as you can get to your network adapters, you're totally fine. So this is where down here uh, I'll click on this and click Open Network and Sharing Center. And then I'll go to change adapter settings. And if you're connected to wireless, doesn't matter. You right click on it, click properties. And then down here, you see 
uh, TCPIP version 4 and TCPIP version 6. Um, another thing, just leave them both checked. Uh, just because eventually uh, versions, uh, version 6 will be the new standard. Uh, TCIP, TCP IP version 4 is still pretty much the standard because it just takes it's going to take so much time to implement version 6 but um, but just leave them both checked and I would say just change both of them and I'll show you right now let's see here so we're gonna go back to the page we're gonna go to Windows and they even show you here for IP version 4 and then IP version 6 so don't uncheck either one of these but we'll start with IP version 4 and we'll go to properties and you'll see that I've already changed it now typically this is already checked obtain DNS server address automatically and so that's typical when you do that uh, you're basically going through um, let's say you have Comcast or Verizon you're going through their DNS server unless you have installed uh, some sort of um, program like Komodo which is a fantastic internet free internet security program and actually they they offer the same thing a uh, secure DNS um, they, they have a secure DN, uh, DNS as well but it's just not as quick as 1.1.1.1 so but that's just to keep in mind because I always suggest people using Komodo now Let's go back here and just install, not install, but let's just change the properties. So when you click on use the following DNS server address for uh, version 4 here, it's literally 1.1.1.1, and then the alternate is 1.0.0.1. That's it. Hit OK. I'm just hitting cancel because everything's fine. And then go to um, version 6 and do the same thing uncheck the obtain DNS server address automatically and click the use the following DNS server addresses and you can literally just copy and paste right here it even has it in bold for you you can copy that and then go right in here and paste it just like that and the same thing for the alternate DNS server so and like I said it's it's DNS is basically just your filter. DNS is a, a directory of when you do type in something like google.com, whatever it is, facebook.com, it's actually going to a series of numbers. So it's kind of like, it's, it's basically like, um, like the internet's uh, yellow pages, I guess you would call it, essentially. So, and, but the most important thing about DNS is that you want um, what you are looking at, the ad the web pages that you're going to, um, to be private. And that's the one beneficial thing of 1.1.1.1. So anything you're visiting, uh, you are completely safe and your browsing will be much quicker. So trust me, I've definitely, <laughs> I've definitely tested it out. It's very, um, it, it exactly what they say on their website is what it does so and it's as simple as that and all of the other installation uh, information for the different devices and for the router uh, work perfectly I've done it I did it on um, an Android tablet they even have a video here on how to do it uh, it's, it's extremely easy but like I said if you just do it on the router then uh, you don't have to switch it on everything else because uh, every device is typically set to uh, automatic uh, DNS but that's all I really have today just wanted to share 1.1.1.1 with you guys and uh, I hope you try it out regardless of what uh, operating system you're using device you're using I would definitely switch your DNS on your router so you don't have to change every single device but if not you can do it on a single device. It, it takes 30 seconds. But that's all I have for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.